let me tell you about a friend of mine, Matthew. Matthew is a tax collector. No, just kidding. Matthew is a young person, and I've known Matthew in my ministry for many years. Matthew has left the church. I remember when I first noticing that Matthew was drifting away. I called him up and we went out for a hot drink. We sat in a little cafe and we talked. Matthew is good company. He's smart, intelligent and funny. He went on to get a PhD and we had a lot of fun in that cafe that day. After a while, I breached the question, what's wrong with the church? His answer was an eye opener. He said, church has no challenges. He went on to explain what he meant. He said, everywhere he goes, he is challenged. Challenged to think, challenged to ask questions. At school, he is challenged to improve himself, to learn new things, to discover. Questions are encouraged. Thinking is supported. In church, however, it was the other way around. Whenever he would ask a question, it would be met with hostility. The members would quiet him down or try to get rid of the question with simplistic answers. Confronted by his questions, they thought he was being critical. Ultimately, Matthew did totally leave the church, not because he wanted to, but because the church stopped his faith growing. The church did not allow any space for him to develop his faith, to explore his faith, to question his faith. Ultimately, Matthew lost his relationship with Jesus because the church stifled it. Looking at the life of Jesus, he questioned everything. One of the earliest events in his life was when he sat in the temple, listening to the teachers and asking them questions. Paul advises the Thessalonians to test everything and hold fast to what is good. In the case of Matthew, he could not test anything, so he did not know what was good. He had nothing to hold fast to. A core church challenges young people to think and ask questions about their faith. A core church understands how important questions are and how important thinking about faith is. A core church knows that if they stop that, there would be no space to grow. At the same time, the reality is that for many members, questions are scary. They make us nervous. They're hard and it's no fun if you don't have a good answer. There is a huge tension here, one that, is no, that has no easy solution. Yet we must face this tension head on. We must make space for questions and thinking. We must challenge our young people and all our members. So how can we do that? What can you do in your church to challenge your members to think, to challenge your members to ask questions? How can you make your place a place where members can truly grow?